Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks Build and Rescue video. Today we are continuing on with the steam locomotive, which I actually have a really good idea about, because we need to uh, be able to attach things onto the front. At the moment we obviously don't have anything here, but I'm going to sort that out today. So, hopefully you guys will join me in actually making this work. Um, yeah, let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, so just before the video begins, if you guys are enjoying the series as it is so far, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and maybe leave a like on the videos that you do watch. Also, I will be making creations in the future that are different to this, uh, so if you guys want to see those, um, yeah, try and stick around. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and turn this back into frantic red because I think it should be red and that is the reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly change this and I'll be back with you guys in a second. And there we go, it's in frantic red. Oh wait, no, I only did one side. So I did actually paint this on this side, as you guys can see, the, around the Queen of Pooh, that's fine. Uh, in this little bit, it's fine. And in the frantic, it is actually fine as well. But obviously on this side, it's still green. So I need to do a little bit more painting. And then once we've done that, we'll jump back to it. And there we go. All right, so all of that is done. Uh, what I was thinking as well, actually, I did see this on another train in uh, Stormworks. Uh, what I was thinking was, the buffers in this don't actually look very good. However, they use these. They actually use these. Uh, which do look pretty nice in terms of actually uh, adding a little buffer. And they're about the right size, which is awesome. Uh, and I kind of like them. So we're actually going to put these here. There we go. And those are just going to be our buffers. And they're going to be on there just like that. And that is fine. Uh, I don't know if we can move this backwards now. No, we can't. So we're going to have to do a similar setup on the front, uh, but we're going to have to come up with an idea of how that's going to work. I don't have any room to actually place anything just yet, but um, I hopefully will come up with an idea of how to do that in a second. Okay, so I still don't actually know in my head how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. So we're going to delete these pieces right here. We're going to grab ourselves a pivot, uh, and that's going to be awesome. There we go. We're going to make it the same color as everything else back here, and that is fine. Yes, there we go. All right, fantastic. So that's going to work like this. There we go. Then we're going to put that in like that. We're going to put this piece on there. We're going to delete these two. Uh, and that one, we're then going to put this on here like this. Uh, we're going to attach it to there, to there. And then we're going to delete this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. And we're actually going to build it back in using this. So this bit's going to be this color. It's then going to do this, this, and this. And that is awesome. All right, cool. So... We're going to put that in there like that, and that is completely fine. Now, you might be wondering why I'm actually doing this and uh, what that is actually going to achieve. Well, what that will achieve is it will allow us to actually come up with a shape of what we're going to do to actually make this work. So, in theory, if I copy one of these out, we can then flip it up so that it folds properly, and it'll fold down into the right place, and hopefully it'll totally work. All right, so all we got to do is we got to grab this. we got to grab all of this. There we go. Uh, every single little bit of it, that is awesome, and we're going to copy it, and then we're going to start a new train. Actually, wait, I need to save this first. Save this as a steam train, there we go. Start a new one, paste it in, and go get this piece. Wherever it is, where is it? Hello? There it is. Alright, cool, we found it. So, this is going to go in like... Whoa, like this. There we go. Oh no. Wait, how is this going to go in? Like... Why is it why is it so difficult to do this? There we go. So it's gonna go in like that and then that'll fold down and that'll be fine However, this is in two pieces and the bit of this we need is the bit that we've just made So delete all of this bit all of these bits. There we go uh, And that right there is the limit of what we need. We need all of this. All right, fantastic So we go ahead and we copy this or we cut it. There we go. We go back to our steam locomotive Which is this thing? There we go. Awesome. Awesome. And we paste this in the way that we had it. So, like that. There we go. We paste it. We obviously need to get rid of the bits that are similar. There we go. There we go. Get rid of all these. That's awesome. Uh, delete that little bit too. And I guess what we got to do is put this on the other side too. So, paste this in right here. Paste. All right. Uh, merge these in. So, merge this with this. Awesome. This with this. Very good. And if I just spawn this in now, it doesn't have electricity, so it won't come down, but that's okay. All right, very good. With that being said as well, we also need uh, tank things uh, to go in here. So we'll put that on there like that. 
And actually, maybe one higher. There we go. Okay, now we just need a number for it to fall down to. And then, I think, with that being said, this should work. I don't know, this is like a one of the first times I've ever done something like this. But I'm hoping it does work. So press 1. There we go. Attach this to there. Attach it to there also. Give it some electricity to each other, to there, to there. And hopefully, it'll fall down. Guys, I'm a genius! I did it! I finally made something work. Haha! <laughs> Woo! Get in! Awesome! Okay, with that being said though, I do think they're a little bit too wide. They should probably be in one more. Uh, and that is a problem because we then need to delete some other bits. But essentially we just delete this bit right here and then we put a new bit on here. So it essentially follows the same pattern uh, and that should be fine. There we go. Make sure it's painted in the correct way. There we go. Very good. And that is actually awesome. Spawn it in again. See if it works. And there we go. Guys, I made something work. That's amazing. Okay, so what is the problem with this design then? The problem is that at the moment... I currently don't have a way of adding the middle piece, <laughs> so we need this to come across the middle, which I can't possibly do because of this, which sucks. Uh, so we gotta do this. The pivot actually has to go on there, so pivot. Here we go. I believe it goes on the bottom. There we go, right there. We delete these pieces as we go, delete that piece as well. And Ooh, how do I want this to work? How do I want this to work? It actually has to go from there backwards, but that means we have to get rid of this. Which means we have to fill that in, and that'll be blank. Okay, we could come up with something else for that, because this is actually necessary. So, we'll do all of those. We'll attach this little piece on, like this. And then we'll put a connector on the front of that. And then hopefully, that will work. It's going to be interesting, uh, and I'm not sure if it will work. But it's always worth a try. Alright, so, we then have to delete the middle pieces. Spawn this in, see what happens. Oh my Jesus. Oh my Jesus, it totally works. I don't know if that's the right height though. <laughs> I have no idea if that's the right height. Let's go to the back, see what's happening here. Oh no, they've made a track now. They've actually made a track. That is, that's not good. We don't want them to be on it. What? We don't want a track. That's not what we want. Also, this is at the wrong height. Uh, we're gonna move this upwards one. We'll put it here instead, and hopefully that'll be fine. So we need one of these. We'll grab it anyway. We'll grab a pivot, and we'll put it there also. Here we go. Put it right here. Uh, and that'll be grey, because reasons. There we go. And then we'll put this on top of there, like this. Bam! Alright, cool. Oh, and we're also going to move these down. So grab these, move them down one, move them in one, and then spawn it in, see what happens. And voila! There we go. Beautiful. Guys, we've done it. That is awesome. Yes. All right, back. The back end is a bit of a problem because those are on different things. But uh, the easiest way to do to fix this is to delete this, delete these two. Uh, get ourselves another pivot. There we go. Whack this in, uh, being this color. There we go. And then uh, attach it straight onto the tank things. And then we're good. All right, there we go. They're on separate entities now. So that is actually completely fine. All right, spawn it in, and I'll show you. Do, 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 do. Whee! And there we go. They don't actually attach together because they are separate entities. Very, very nice. All right, good. Guys, we've made our, tr our locomotive actually work. That is fantastic. All right, final thing I want to do then is I want to paint the back of this. I want to get rid of those. I'll paint those, uh, and we'll see what happens after that. Yeah, these don't even have to be there. All right, get rid of that. There we go. Awesome. Uh, we're going to paint the inside of these because they don't need to be like this. There we go. There we go indeedy, and that is awesome. So, yeah, when you spot it in, it obviously looks weird, but um, that's okay. That is actually okay. Fantastic. All right, we're going to do a little bit more painting now because this little bit looks weird. So, we're actually going to jug this like this. There we go, that's awesome. Jug that little bit right there, that little bit right there, this little bit, and this bit. All right, fantastic. Looks a lot better now, but it still isn't perfect. You know what? I'm actually going to delete this too. Whoa. Okay, right, that opens up a big mess, doesn't it? That opens up a big mess. Uh, I'm gonna do this, across there. Awesome. Uh, we're gonna jug this color in there, jug it there, jug it there, and realistically, I kinda wanna fill this in too. So I'm going to, there we go. Fill the whole bottom side in, very nice. And we're actually gonna get rid of this too. And we're gonna put this in, like this. Whee! There we go, and that is fine. That's actually okay. So we'll paint this a little bit like this. There we go. And that is okay. Do the little bit at the back as well. 
And then I want to put some pipes in. Uh, just to make it like a little bit better. So there we go. Pipes. Gonna go like that. Awesome. Along the pipes in random places. We'll have another pipe. That goes down. Into the bottom. And then three away from there as well. Do the same thing. Come up. There we go. Awesome. And then if we can. Three. And. Three. There we go. Attach that to there. Attach that to there. That is. That's fantastic. Uh, looks a little bit strange. So I think these bits are actually going to be red. There we go. Uh, and that's okay. Good. Still not really sure what to do with this bit. Not gonna lie. If I deleted these and I put this in instead, is that gonna look better or worse? I actually really don't know. I'm not very good with random details, so that's what we've got. Anyway, spawn it in. See what it looks like. Looks kind of cool. I don't mind that at all. Awesome. Um, but I'm actually very, very pleased with this. It actually looks very good. Um, and we're gonna keep it. However, with that being said, uh, we obviously have a problem here now. It looks very bland, and I'm not sure what to do with it. So, uh, I'm actually going to delete a bit of it. We're going to put this piece right here inside there, like that. We're going to paint these pieces so they look better. Boop, and boop. There we go. And we're going to put some pipes in so that they totally work. We're actually going to put this in like this. Same at the top. And we'll attach them together with just a little straight piece. There we go. And that looks weird, but I like it. So there you go. All right, awesome, nice. Guys, we're doing things that I like. This is crazy. All right, we're also gonna put these in. I don't know if I like this bit, not gonna lie. But I want it to look different, but also the same. <laughs> I want it to look different, but the same. Ignore what I'm saying. It's completely random. Anyway, put this in. Let's see what that looks like when you shine a light on it. Looks very insane, like, actually interesting. But do we like it? I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll stick with it for now. Um, but there we go. Guys, I've added a front end that you guys were all asking for, which is awesome. Uh, if I go to the back, the back end also works now as well. And the buffers actually look perfect with these tank wheels. Um, so yeah, there we go. All right, awesome. Well, anyway, I'm going to leave this as a very short video. I've added this piece and I actually really like it. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.